Hey guys, it's your girl CK here and um, welcome back to another vlog. And today's vlog is a cooking video actually. I hope you guys are going to be open to try out this new recipe that I'm going to be showing you today. And if you do, write down in the comments um, what you thought about the recipe. So yeah, let's get down into the video. So before showing you how I'm going to prep my ingredients, I need to make my oil hot. And I don't really have a wok. So this is the pan I'm going to be using today. I'll just put oil so that it can heat up. As we continue prepping the ingredients so i'll just leave that there and we can now prep the ingredients i already have my ingredients here so let me just put you guys here okay guys so these are my mushrooms i just got them from the supermarket yesterday actually i bought this from naivas these are oyster mushrooms and they have a texture sort of like um chicken thighs so yeah you can see this is how the oyster mushrooms look actually they are already clean so i'm not going to be cleaning them so i'll just take out a few pieces oh some of them look really huge wow so this is the mushrooms i'll not use all of them today i need to leave some aside for stir fry later so i have two bowls here one I'm going to make my wet butter and one I'm going to use my dry butter. So this is a plant-based milk that I'm using. So the idea is to have one container with um, wet ingredients for dipping the butter. You know how you just fried, how you'd fry um, chicken. You'd have one wet butter and one like a dry butter for dipping so that's milk and then i have my all-purpose flour over here i'm just going to put the recipe in the comment section so i'll just put here a few tablespoons of flour for dipping and i think that's good that's that's like four tablespoons and i wanted my dipping butter to sort of like be like a, how do you call it a buttermilk so i want to cut on the milk right now so my milk is here i'm going to take my lemons that i've just sliced right now and i'm going to squeeze them in in the milk and let this cuddle as i do the marination for everything else so these are my lemons. You can use any other kind of milk or if you don't like using milk, you can make an egg mix. Basically what we need to do is coat, coat the mushrooms. So I'll just put, this is a whole lemon. That I've put in like a quarter of. So I'm going to stir this and let put it aside and let it curdle. Let me just get a spoon and mix this. You can see it's already started to curdle. The reason why I wanted a buttermilk mixture is because I want something thick. Because initially, if you are to use like egg and milk together, it's going to be sort of like the same consistency. So this is good to go. What I'm going to do now is marinate my mixture. And I'm going to use salt. This is salt. Make sure to marinate both salt here as well. And salt in the mushrooms as well. Salt and this black pepper. And then I'm going to put a bit of paprika as well.
the idea is to get flavor in all in all of them and garlic powder it's pretty simple because i'm not using a lot of complicated ingredients and you probably even have all these ingredients at home so yeah this is now ready and i'm going to stir this mix this as well you can see the mixture has already cuddled and this is what we were going for so i'll just wash my hands and then we can proceed to fry in this so i'm back my hands are clean and everything is ready oh that was water i think so this is my wet this is basically how you'd fry um normal um chicken the wet one in first you can see how it's coating and then the dry butter and i'm going to shake off the excess no need to double dip this because the first dip is already okay and then in because the mushroom I'm going to take another one and do the same for all of them. Oh, and it cooks pretty quickly. So it's golden brown on both sides. Once it's golden brown to what you want, you can now remove it. Then I'm going to do the same for the other mushrooms as well. wow look at that sort of looks like a pineapple somehow or like a chicken thigh right so this is now good to go i like this color i'm going to deep fry the rest of my mushrooms which are over here so let me wash my hands first <laughs>
so for my salad i already have a rough idea of what i want to have and i just got this yesterday from the market so look at that it actually looks like chicken look wow so i've just come outside because i've already plated my food here it is and the lighting is so much better outside but time to try this The mushroom is really crunchy. Mm -hmm. hmm. ah, that was scrumptious. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys try out this recipe. Um, tell me in the comment section what you guys would also want to try. I saw the request from last week about the popcorns and I'm working on it. The flavored popcorn right so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next vlog bye